Got through Jay as well. The Bank of Japan came out. It was a, it was a really closely watched meeting. This one. I'm just looking at the reaction in the uh, dollar yen pair here. If we look at a one minute chart, it was a lot of chop coming into the meeting um, around this level as a bit of positioning. I think um, the expectation was nothing was going to change, but there was always that chance after December surprise that something may happen. Anyway, they didn't do anything. Um, and we see the reaction with a, a, a kind of rapidly weakening yen, seeing the dollar yen pair go up. Now, if this will last or not, it depends. I mean, I am a little bit bullish on the yen. I think it's, um, the, this Bank of Japan policy has to end eventually. And, and the, the consensus is if it wasn't this month, it's probably going to be July or uh, June. So we do just on a technical on the technical levels here, there's a pretty good resistance level here there around that 138 level, um, which we may see it kind of creep up to on the on this news. We've also got a you know kind of a ascending trend line heading up um, after you know the, the yen has appreciated quite a bit uh, the end of last year, the beginning of this year, and we've consolidated here and just kind of trending upwards. But I think this this line here 138 will certainly be one to watch this zone here whether it can. Uh, extend through this. Um, I've got a feeling that this will be pretty stiff resistance. Uh, I, I do think that the yen um, may test it, but I think we'll get back down testing this trend line too. I think the safe haven status of the yen has been shown to be quite strong with um, some of the market shenanigans going on with, with banks, etc. So uh, don't count the yen out yet, but um, looks like there'll be a bit more upside on the back of this this Bank of Japan meeting uh, until we get another catalyst to uh, strengthen the yen again.